Okay, here they are at week three. Now, as you know, we found out that they were Rover's puppies. Now, we were planning on breeding Ewoks anyways, but we were planning on using the stud that we were using with Katie to uh, breed with Freckles because you have to breed to a bigger female so that there isn't any complications. And, uh, well, Katie had a really bad labor, but we didn't think that River had gotten to her, and we thought that they were Yorkies, but we were wrong. And this is how we found out from this little culprit right here, because her white didn't turn brown. <laughs> so we got a little uh, tux Ewok right here, and they are papered. Um, I had gone through all the step work to paper Ewoks a year before these guys came in. I just hadn't planned on doing breeding the Ewoks for until the beginning of next year or the end of next year, but that's not what happened. <laughs> However, we will never breed them to her again. She had a horrible le uh, labor and she lost one because it was too big. So. <laughs> they know. Oh. <laughs> My daughter's so excited that I, I got these Ewoks registered in on the market. She <laughs> wants me to explain that we're the founder. So, it was actually my daughter's idea. So, she had been looking at the Shorkies, which are half Shih Tzu and half Yorkie. And we looked at all the other uh, Yorkie mixes before we had gone into teddy bears and she really liked them and then we ended up getting the teddy bear because of uh, my son being disabled so then she wanted to breed the teddy bear to the Yorkie and I told her oh that's a good idea and then I put a survey up on our website and it ranked extremely high so we went through the step work and we were going to get it done and it got done early alright well that's enough talking <sighs> let's see Here's the little waffles. <laughs> Their eyes are open now. She's going to have lots of hair. And she's going to be a tuxedo. Here. Molly, can you move? Because i got to bring her up on the bed. There, because you can't see her in the dark over there. Hi, sweetie. And then this one's already sold. Now, I really didn't want to take any deposits on them until they got older. But, um, I guess people want their puppies, well, <laughs> and they want to make sure that they don't get them from where other, other people get their puppies. So I guess we're ending up taking deposits. I can't necessarily let this one be sold and then say, oh, well, no one else can buy one, so. There she is. Isn't she cute? <laughs> uh, no, she's going to be a little over three and a half pounds, but not much. And then she's going to be extremely fuzzy. And then see how their nose is longer? Now, you're, they're still going to have that baby doll face because they'll have all that hair, you know, and the big shit zoo eyes. But uh, they'll have a longer nose. That way they don't have the little underbite which helps so that they don't have to get their teeth yanked out and stuff like that. And of course it helps with breathing problems and stuff like that. So. Okay. And then, who is this? This is Leon. And he's going to be tricolor. Um, he's gonna, he has kind of like the Rottweiler marks. He's going to be about 5 pounds. So, about Katie's size. And, um, He's getting like these Rottweiler marks in him. And he's got a little white on his chest and two little white end up feet. Hey. Oh, and I think he's got white on his chin. And a little bit of white underneath his neck here. He's going to be pretty colorful. So he's a little tricolor that has kind of. Wattweilers 
markings. And he's going to get more brown on his cheeks here and stuff. We'll have to watch him develop. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to bite my hand. I know. He's so cute. <laughs> oh. He's got a little bit of black on his the end of his toes there, see? Turns brown to black and white. <laughs> they're, they're all going to have a lot of hair. He's the only one that's not going to get the curly fluffy hair. He's going to have a lot of hair, but his hair texture is going to be like the Sharky. So, and then the other two are going to have the... Oh, well, my camera went out on me. So, let's hope this goes all the way through. And then, let me see, is this the girl? Yes, this is the girl I was going to keep for my son. But we told him he had to get a different doggy because Rover is their daddy. And we want to try to get some more Ewoks bred instead of just the one litter from Freckles a year. So, since we only have enough room in our house for one more dog, because they are her pets, not just some profit. And, uh... I mean, we, at our house, we could put fit more dogs, but as far as the time and the attention that we could put into them, we can only afford one more dog. So he's going to have to wait because we're going to have to get another um, Yorkie or something so we can try to produce more Ewoks instead of one litter. And so here's the other girl that we were going to keep, and she's back up for sale now. Oh, my baby girl. My baby girl. I'm going to be so upset giving her away So I got her attached. And she's going to be a little over five pounds, about five and a half. So she's should be a good breeder. But um, I have it. I got a few people interested, other breeders, to start the Ewoks since we already got them through the registry and everything. But the thing is, you won't be able, there's only going to be about two or three more or whoever else is interested. Uh, I'll help walk them through it, and it's free. I'm not, like, selling a franchise or anything. I just want to give the ability for other people to be able to breed these guys, you know, because they're so cute. Uh, uh, she's going to have curly hair. She's going to be really fluffy. So way fluffier than the, the Shorkies end up coming out. Oh. <coughs> and, uh, <coughs> anyways, so we're, those a few other breeders are going to start breeding them. But if whoever buys her, if they wanted to breed her, they wouldn't be able to breed her for at least two or three years. Because, you know, there just won't be any more Ewoks out there until then. It's a brand new hybrid. And she's really colorful. She's so awesome. You know, that's one of the reasons I wanted to keep her. See, she gets... See those gray circles around her eyes? She's getting the gray teddy bear circles around her eyes. And she has that... The, those little Rottweiler-like markings... And she's going to be so colorful. She's like a super tri-color. And look at all the colors right here on her. She's got gray and gold and white and black. <laughs> and her little... She's got a black muzzle. Look at that. So she's going to have that... You guys know what a uh, smiling Pomeranian is? They have a really cute... Their muzzle's a little black on the bottom here. So when they look at you, it looks like they're smiling. And I think she's going to come out with that type of accent to her, so it's going to be so awesome. Oh! So there she is. I can't wait until her fur comes in. She's going to be so awesome. And she's going to be perfect breeding size, too. Now, if you guys do die buy her to breed, you have to be a family home. Only family homes can have my puppies. She has to be